what they did in the show, they're sitting on a like a porch step in New York City, and a woman is leaving her minivan on the street, and she locks it with her key fob you know, remotely. There's a number of different strategies for being able to unlock this vehicle. One of them that they may have done, it works in some cases, is you can simply jam that signal. So somebody goes ahead and pushes the key fob to lock the door like I did here. You can see I've done it three times right there. You can see them passing by. I can jam it. And by jamming it, the signal is never received by the vehicle and the car never locks. The weakness of that strategy is that people often will listen for that beep, that little beep that says the car's locked. But some people don't. Some people just careless and they push the button and they keep going. I'm going to show you, first of all, how to jam the signal. And then also what we can do is to actually capture the signal and then replay it. Radio transmitters all have essentially a password in each of them. Those passwords are all different. So as they make a key fob, they put different passwords. It's basically a, a set of numbers, right? They don't change the password each time it's transmitted. If I can capture the signal, then I can store it and replay it. This is probably what they did in Mr. Robot. This strategy will work on Honda cars up to 2020. About 2014, the big uh, luxury car manufacturers <laughs> got a clue. So the Mercedes and the BMWs and the Lexus and a few others um, got a clue. And they started putting in what's called a rolling code so that the password changes each time. And that can be broken as well, but it's just harder to do. For older vehicles, okay, those before like 2014, and especially those that are in the first decade of the 21st century or older, especially on the luxury cars. So if you've got an old Mercedes sitting around, it's a good test vehicle to test out this strategy.